<laughs> gotcha. Got him the old, give him the old bamboozle. All right, let's go ahead and shut that off. Uh, that was Hajimari's uh, OST, but let's uh, let's actually get ourselves acclimated, get the right stuff set up here. Boom. Oh, welcome everybody to the start of uh, my new series, because, you know, it's about time I started a new game. Uh, welcome to Nayuta no Kiseki, or Nayuta Endless Trails. This game got a fan translation a few years back, but uh, never got around to it, for several reasons. Mostly just uh, not big on action games. And, uh, yeah, that's that's primarily it. So, uh, it's time to bite the bullet and, uh, get started. So, um... I can go with, uh, beginner, normal, or hard. Um... We're, we're gonna go try normal, see how it goes for me. If I'm, like, really struggling, I might drop it down, but we'll see. In any case, uh, my name is Logic Blade, and uh, I stream games on Twitch. So, uh, yeah, that's that's the cool story, bro. Let's see how many frames I drop because apparently I've already dropped 145, and I just started. <laughs> uh, great, 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 great. 1579 NS Summer, approximately 980 cells southwest of the port city of Saint Cerise on the Ciencia Sea. Selge are, uh, roughly decimeters, so 980 Selge, 98 kilometers. Ah, voice acting. That's lovely. Sure got windy. Eighty-seven point six one degrees. The average sea level is. Hey, Nayuda, what are you doing over there? I might turn the voice volume up a bit. Oh, Signa. Don't ask Signa me. You're not in your room, so if you're even thinking of... Uh, I thought I told you to get some rest tonight. No way, the skies are clear tonight, so I was thinking that's perfect for stargazing. Since now's about the time when you can see the Summer Triangle more clearly. Jeez, you're as enthusiastic as ever. Captain said that we should be at Remnant Island by morning. You'd better head to bed now, or else you'll wake up with bags under your eyes. Uh, if this were the Academy's observatory, I'd be able to measure this more precisely, but... Uh, you idiot. Listen to your bro, yeah? When you're concentrating so hard that you can't see what's around you, that's one of your good points, too. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Still, it's been about four months since we last came home to Remnant Island, huh? It'd be good if my sister, Lyra, and Master are all doing fine. It's only been four months. Nothing much will have changed. It's our long-awaited return home. I'm gonna take it easy. And I caught a lucky break. With you at my side, I'll be able to take days off from the vig Vigilance Committee. Yeah, that's right. Mother and father in heaven. In a short while, I'll return to the island. I learned about various things every day at San Cerise Academy that sister let me go to. It was tough, barely being able to get in contact with her. I gotta put a smile on my face for her tomorrow. Look, Signa!
Ooh, it's a meteor storm. A meteor shower? Wow, how beautiful. Hey, look. They're shooting in the direction of Remnant Island. I wonder if there are star shards inside. I'm sure there are. Even so, it's a beautiful view. I wonder if the stars are greeting us, perhaps. Alright, I gotta record these observations right away. No, Nayuta. I just told you. If you don't sleep, it'll affect your day tomorrow. Come on, get back in the cabin. Oh, man, seriously? Aw. Oh. This world has an end. We have been taught this for as long as anyone can remember. Even the sea which stretches to infinity has a distinct end, beyond which one cannot go. Which is why many scholars say, this world is flat. This is a pretty common perception of the world. I wonder if it's really true. No, I'm sure it's wrong. I strongly believe that the world is much, much bigger than that. Huh, flat worlds, huh? Interesting, interesting. Anyway, the prologue. Door to another world. <laughs> uh, well, that should be interesting. The next morning. And these are some nice sprites, I gotta say. I think this was like a few months before the Vita released, or like actually concurrent with the Vita. Uh, I guess they didn't translate like the uh, graphic text that comes up. That's that's probably the name of the village. I just you know can't read Japanese, so yeah. If it was Katakana and I had more than two seconds to look at it, maybe I could have figured it out, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> as expected from a long journey, it's because there's 1760 Selge between here and the port of St. Cerise. Because Captain Pupus's ferry is so fast, it took us only half a day. Wow. <sighs> what a huge yawn. Sheesh, that's why I told you to get some proper sleep. <laughs> because I watched that beautiful meteor shower. I'm completely awake. Hmm. Hmm. Sleepy. Well, return home quickly and have Eartha make you breakfast. Once you eat that, you'll be refreshed. I'll go to Master's place and put away my luggage. Alright, got it. See you later. Let's see, by applying the light from this side... Alright, you can see it clearly now. Wow, how beautiful! This is... Maybe it's a tower somewhere? It's rare to be able to see one this clearly. This star shard might be worth a good bit. 
Mr. Antilia will be pleased. Oh, it looks like you'll be returning any time now. Welcome home, Nayuda. I'm home. Say, you knew I'd be returning, right? <laughs> I thought it might be the case when I heard the sheep bay. Somehow, even the ship is as regular as a clock. You must be tired from your journey. Um, I I know what happened with the translation here. Uh, ship and sheep got uh, switched up. <laughs> Anyway, uh, welcome to the stream, Silver. Uh, hope you're ready for some uh, Nayuda no Kiseki, because Kiseki never ends. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> My goodness, what's wrong? Somehow you seem super sleepy. If that's the case, you've been staying up late again, haven't you? <laughs> I thought you'd figured it out. Eartha, is there any breakfast left? I'm pretty hungry, see? I thought I'd eat with you today, so I waited. I made special egg soup for a late breakfast. All right. N no, when I think about eating my sister's home cooking, I might get even more hungry. <laughs> It'll be ready soon, so put your things away before then. Oh, have you washed your hands? <laughs> I know. But he's wearing gloves, it's fine. Just take your gloves off before you eat. <laughs> <sighs> Finally, I can take a breather. Cygna said he's coming later, too. Yo, it's been a while, Eartha. Oh, this is... It's an appetizing scent, as always. Well, if it isn't Cygna, you're lively as usual. Since you're here, want to have breakfast with us? Absolutely! Then I'll eat as much as I can, maybe. <laughs> Looks like he's already here. I should get down there. You can't do what? What can't you do, Silver? <laughs> that was a wonderful meal. Ah, delicious. Eartha, your cooking's great as usual. You left for the city. At least one or two restaurants would serve it, right? That's saying too much. Pro chefs are in a whole other league. What's more, I have the star shard observation work I inherited from Mother. I analyzed the views within the star shards. It certainly won't work you won't find outside the island. Arcade Eno is literally impossible to beat. Oof. I don't know... I don't know what that is, but, uh, Gone Beret. Yeah, the Star Shards themselves are Remnant Island's special product. Well, how's your work been going lately? <laughs> really look deep within themselves for that name. <laughs> I mean, I guess, it's... It's kind of creative in how uncreative it is. <laughs> it's been going little by little, but the one from this morning looks like a rare one. Rare. What kind of view can you see in that star shard? <laughs> Since you're here, want to try looking? It's installed in the observation machine. Yes, definitely! It's in your room, right? I'll head there right now! Hey, pretty excited, aren't we? Star shard won't escape that easily. <laughs> well then, let's clean up and look at it together. Star Shards. That is the name of mysterious crystals that fall with shooting stars in the area around Remnant Island. It is said that if you shine the seven colors of light on them, the beautiful world will be projected. This is the mysterious special property that these crystals have. The people call that world Lost Heaven and send their thoughts out to it. Amazing! This is amazing, Eartha! It looks like a tower somewhere, doesn't it? It's unthinkably tall and extravagant. The surrounding scene is beautiful, too. 
Indeed, it's truly beautiful. I've looked at star shards every now and then, but this is the first time I've seen one like this. I know, right? When I first saw it, I was surprised too. Oh, is it really so great? I want to take a good look too. If this isn't great, then nothing is. Many times you've seen star shards, like forests or animals or the sea or sky. Things in nature. There are stories of seeing something like ruins inside as well. To see a structure projected this queer clearly is quite rare indeed. The only thing that can be seen in star shards is the world of lost heaven. Does it exist in this world? If it exists, just where is it? Why do star shards reflect this world? Researchers have continued to tackle these kinds of questions for a long time. There might be a reason star shards only fall in the area around Remnant Island. No, I'm sure there is. There's no such thing as a thing without reason. Yes, it'd be good if someday I could solve these mysteries. <laughs> that Nayuda looks like he's in his own world again. Good grief. Lost heaven, huh? I wonder if it has something to do with the accident involving Nayuda's parents. Uh, that Nayuda, when he gets like this, he seriously can't hear conversations. Stop fooling around. I want to get a good look at it, too. <laughs> it seems it would be better to wait your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, you two. I got a little too excited there. Oh, it's fine. It's been a while since I saw that dreaming face of yours, Nayuda. Well, honestly, that scenery is amazing, and I feel like I understand your feelings. That tower really exists. I want to see it too. What's wrong, Signa? No, it's nothing. Well, speaking of that, I have a suggestion for Nayuda today. A suggestion? You didn't come to eat breakfast? Well, that is the natural course of events. If you're talking about breakfast, I already ate at Master's place, you see. Th then it's your second meal, yes? You sure eat a lot as always, don't you? <laughs> it's because I'm a growing boy, but that isn't the issue here. Truth is, I thought we could revive the handyman shop work during our summer vacation. Handyman shop? You mean, the work we did before? Yeah, that's exactly right. We take various requests and take care of things and receive rewards, a so-called anything-goes shop. St. Cerise had their own vigilante force. Since we've returned, I thought... <laughs> that might be a good idea. Everyone will be delighted. There's been a shortage of people on the island since you two left. Of course, of course. We gotta live up to everyone's expectations, right? How about it, Nayuda? Passing time slagging off is nothing. Wanna give it a try? <laughs> I wasn't especially planning to spend the summer slacking off, but... Yeah, since we're here, I'll help you out. As before, we'll make this place our office and collect requests, right? That's exactly it. Speaking of that, when you come here, listen to the voices of the people. I think there's some requests in the mailbox right around now. <laughs> Cigna doesn't overlook anything. Eartha, when you say that, do you mean that Cigna does whatever he wants or that he's thoroughly prepared? <laughs> if it's you guys, I can definitely get carried away. Speaking of that, Nayuda, let's go check the request in the mailbox outside. Uh, wait for me, Signa. <laughs> Have a nice day. Do your best, you two. Thanks. I'll be back. Alright. So yeah, the uh, menu looks a little different, but it seems to be easy enough to understand. I'm going to up the voices one tick. And I'm going to make a save.
And naturally, I don't have any equipment. But, yeah. Okay, so you can press the cancel button to jump around. Uh, I've mapped my cancel button to circle because I'm a dirty American player. Well, I'm Canadian, but, you know, gotta get used to X being your uh, confirm button. So if we find star shards, we can look at them with the machine. Nothing particular in those ones. But, hey, we got a telescope up here. Now you'd appear through the astronomical telescope. It's possible to zoom in with the L button and zoom out with the R button. Okay, so it's obviously bright in the sky, so you can't see very much, but there's a moon. There's two moons, actually. There was two moons. And for some reason, this has inverted controls, which is absurd. But, you know, I guess that's uh, true to form for a freaking uh, telescope, anyway. Anyway, you can press the triangle button to roll, uh, confirm button. Uh, circle if you're playing in Japanese, X if you got your controller map properly. I assume square is attack, because... Well, it actually could be X, because circles jump. Anyway. Come on, dude, I want to look at the request we got. Come on, Nayuda, check the mailbox. Alright. Lunch prep agent. I forgot my lunch today. I'll be around the plaza. Please have someone make it for me. I'm glad you are well. It has been a while, and I would like to train you two. Please meet me on the beach together. Okay. Yeah, these are definitely tutorial quests. In the camp menu, open the system and select quest. You can check the contents of accepted requests. When quest requests have been added, select the notification icon. Huh, there are that many requests in the mailbox? Heh, <laughs> I'll handle the high danger monster extermination requests and the like. I'll leave the remaining detail work to you. That's how we'll divide things. Okay, got it. Huh, but it looks like the one from Master says two people should come. I'll leave that one to you. I'll be exterminating monsters relentlessly. Uh, wait, Cigna? Uh, Master is like his parent. He might be a little embarrassed. Anyway, the requests are from Master and Dorado. Since he left these to me, I've got to accomplish them. So, what is this anyway? Um, it's a Kaseki game, but it doesn't take place in Zamuria. It takes place on Remnant Island. Is it even a Kaseki game at all? Kondo doesn't want to tell us. He's very sly about it, suggesting that we should play it, but obviously, it's pretty difficult if you live in the West. <laughs> also, you can earn trophies in this game. Not that I particularly care about getting all of them, but I'd like to get at least a few of them to show them off. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like Zero and Azure's uh, trophy thing. But yeah, this is basically a Kaseki game that plays like East. Um, the controls feel pretty similar to like uh, Ark of Naptism or uh, Oath of Fil Oath and Felgana. Wonder if uh, Signa is like a playable character or not, or if it's just all Mayuta. We'll find out. 
Anyway. Oh, little Nayuta. It's been a while. How have you been? You too, Cruz. Say, what's that smell? From that frying pan, a strange smell that is sweet, bitter, spicy, and sour is coming out. <laughs> I was just thinking of my next menu. Please, little Nayuta, since you're here, want to sample it? Um... I've sampled Cruz's new menus before many times, but each one's a bitter experience. I'm full right now, so I'll pass. <laughs> is that so? Too bad, then. Well, before long, I'll have you help me with my new menu. I'm looking forward to it, little Nayuta. Oh, rip. I'm probably not gonna do all the, uh... The, the randos. Who Lyra is? Probably Nayuta's girlfriend, or probably not, because he seems like he's too dense to have a girlfriend. I'm not shy. You're not thinking of politeness. She brought out her face. Oh God, yeah, this is. Some of these uh, lines are very awkwardly translated, but I mean. It's understandable, this was the work of one person, from what I understand. let me loot stuff. It's not a JRPG if I can't loot shit. Come on. Ah. Well, I tried. Naida. I haven't seen you in a while, and I'm happy to see you. Did any errands come today? Or maybe you can introduce me to a good date. <sighs> you sure love to joke, Sasha. Aw, oh, that wasn't any kind of joke, though. <laughs> Just kidding. I've recently stocked some good black tea. I'll enjoy it again with Earth and everyone. Hmm, I'm looking forward to it. Oh, that's actually kind of creepy. Anyway, uh, I've got no money, so I can't buy any of this stuff. Oh man, look, high-class cooking recipes. Those are super expensive. I got, I got to get more, more gems. That's wild. This is some wild design. Like, could you imagine just? building, like, an arch out like this. Oh, it's Dorado. No, that's Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I gotta ask him for information since he submitted a request. If you talk with Square, you can have a quest-related conversation. Now then, there's a cemetery on the Cape. I've got to report my return to father and mother, too. It's almost like, hey, maybe ignore Dorado for a second. The Cape behind the island. Usually there's not many people here. The view is good, and only the sound of the waves echoes. The moon is beautiful, too. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheering up a bit. Though the academy was enjoyable, I'm a little depressed. It's just the feeling of returning to your birthplace, I guess. 
Alright, I'll give it my best shot today. Man, Nayuda. Why you gotta be like that? Okay, crap. Crap battle. Crap battle. William Herschel, Mary Herschel. Their souls are with God in peace. I'm back. Father? Mother? The boat just arrived. I greeted my sister. It's been four months since I was here. <laughs> I'm relieved nothing's changed. Father, the ship that you and the other astronomers were on sunk. It's already been five years since then. Seeking lost heaven and heading for the end of the world, you didn't return. I'm still supported by Sis and Cigna, but I... I study hard at the Academy, and I'll show you that I can become a fine adult. Father, your dream? Even lost heaven. Someday, I'll show you I can find it. That's why you should watch over me from the heavens. Now then, I should get going. <laughs> if I skip out on this, I'll make Cigna angry. Oh, look, it's a doggo. A, a low poly doggo, but a doggo nonetheless. Huh? I didn't see the dog here. He were lost on the ferry and drifted to shore, huh? Burp, burp. <laughs> You're a cutie, you know. That's right. I wonder if I can keep him as a pet at our house. If I had a proper dog house, it'd be fine. I'll look for one at the general store. Oh god, it's just like Gagar. We got pets. Pets that don't do shit but piss you off all the time because they're always angry. <laughs> uh, Gagar wasn't a good series. I wouldn't recommend it. Hey there, Nayuda. I heard some lively voices outside, but it seems like you've returned. Yeah, Ada, Cygnus with me. <laughs> Is that right? If we're talking about him, he'll show his face soon. But even so, um, why are you staring like that? Well, you see, while you've been away for a while, you look a little bit more muscular. <laughs> seems this will be good for teasing Lyra. Why did you put Lyra into the conversation just now? Oh, don't worry about it. I'm looking forward to your sister's cooking. Yes, sir. God, these are... They're all too expensive. I mean, I can buy that bandana, I guess. And the leather armor. Uh, you know what? Let's just buy the boots. Did that just equip automatically? Neat. Oh, lad, it's been a while. Yes, it has, Mr. Columba. Yo, she hot. Can we go on a date with her? <laughs> yeah, her sprite wasn't too bad. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, man, since it's a rare chance, just say something sensible for a change. Okay. What's with you? It's summer vacation. You should rest your body. Yeah, thanks, mister. That that was very awkward. <laughs> oh, right. I needed to talk to Mike Wasowski. Huh, Nayuda, have you finished greeting Axe? Yeah, just now. Speaking of that, that baby. He was born when we were away, wasn't he? Yep, that's right. His name's Kali. Now, Kali, won't you greet your big bro, Nayuda? <laughs> She's so cute. I can only imagine the many hardships you must have faced during your pregnancy. However, now that she's been born, there's even more difficulties, huh? Uh, 
uh, don't hesitate to call the handyman shop if you need help with anything. When that time comes, I'll rely on your help. Alright, I need to I need to talk to this dude. Hey, Nayuda, did you finish greeting Eartha? Oh, Dorado. Yeah, I just finished stowing my luggage. At any rate, it's been a while since I've seen you. How's your guard duties going? Well, this is always... This is village's peace itself. Uh, honestly speaking, there's almost no work. <laughs> is that so? My sister's her peaceful self too, no doubt about it. Uh, uh, I'm so jealous of you, dude. You have such a lovely sister. What's more, she's not just beautiful, she's kind and a skilled cook. Nayuda, do you want an older brother? <laughs> Yo, I heard, but your handyman shop, you revived it. Though I submitted my request quickly, will you be handling things today, Nayuda? Yeah, I'm in charge of work this time around. If I remember correctly, you said you forgot your lunch. I always prepare it every morning myself, but today I forgot it. Since it's available, I thought I'd request help from the handyman shop. Oh, I get it. But if that's the case, it should be fine to eat at the local bar. Oh, that's right. But there should be someone I can rely on at your place. Yeah, the lunchbox master whose cooking skill puts other cooks to shame. The lovely Eartha! Uh... So, basically you just want to eat one of my sister's handmade lunchboxes, right? Well, for now, except this. I brought those from my house. Please, bring those to Eartha and ask her to make a lunchbox for me. Yep, understood. Leave everything to me. Even though he forgot his lunch, he brought the ingredients, huh? <laughs> well then, good luck. God damn it. I guess we gotta help this guy, you know, eat one of our sister's lunchboxes. I don't know if rolling is faster, but it feels faster. Ask Viertha. A lunchbox for Dorado? Huh. This again, huh? Uh, again? The handyman shop was closed while you and Signa were away. Dorado was requesting lunchboxes at the rate of one per week. He brought the ingredients so I can make lunchbox myself. Good work bringing them. <laughs> Dorado's always forgetting his lunchboxes. He's pretty bird brained. That Dorado. I wonder if eating my sister's lunchbox is the only thing he wants. Well, be that as it may, can you make it quickly? With carrots, onion, and, and bacon, I can make a healthy one. Well then, just wait a bit, okay? And to wrap it up, boom! Got it, it's complete! Ah, it looks delicious, as expected. What's more, it looked like you were enjoying yourself the entire time you were making it. When I look at a sister like this, it's nothing short of amazing. I don't know what to make of that line. Come on now, Nayuda. There's no need to say something strange like that all of a sudden. That's right, you are doing handyman work today. I have to make lunchboxes for my hard-working Nayuda, too. Is that really alright? Yeah, there's even some leftover breakfast ingredients. What will I do from a lunchbox made from these ingredients, I wonder? Alright, I'll leave this to you then. It's been a while since I had one of your lunchboxes. I'm looking forward to this. I hope I can live up to your expectations. Here I go! Here's the ingredients again. If you give ingredients to Eartha, she'll make you a lunchbox. 
copy the third using circle and select lunchbox please, then select the one you want. Well, since we just have this. If we had some solar beans, we can make some advanced dishes, but that will be fine. Thanks, Eartha. Looks delicious. <laughs> You're very welcome. Oh, speaking of that, give those to me. It's a present from me to you. If you have this, you can cook anywhere. It's hard to cook for yourself away from the dorms. You can write letters, too. I think it'll be perfect for you. I'll teach you how to make the lunch boxes, so be a little more diligent. Oh, thanks. Wow, this is the real thing. Looks like I'll be able to study cooking easily. Thanks for letting me use it. <laughs> it's good to be honest. Please, take that lunchbox to Dorado while it's still hot, okay? When you use the lunchbox, you recover HP and gain experience. Furthermore, you become able to make each lunchbox you have made for you. Okay, so... It's like cooking in some of the older games, kinda sorta. I'm definitely not gonna go out of my way to 100% this, because I, I don't even have a guide up, I'm just kinda doing my own thing. Anyway, I didn't get to explore around here. But it doesn't look like much for now. This delicious scent possibly be. Here you go, Dorado. It's my sister's lunchbox. Ah, oh, thanks, Naida. I don't have the strength to guard the village if I'm hungry. This lunchbox with Eartha's love and sincerity. I'll enjoy it later. <laughs> That's fine, but by the way, Dorado. Hmm? What is it? it? Seems like this has happened many times before. Could it be that you forgot your lunch on purpose? Um... <laughs> well, if you want to eat my sister's cooking, why don't you just try asking her directly? Even if you don't take the roundabout way, I think Sis would be glad to cook for you. Uh, stupid! I could never ever do anything like that! I'd never do anything on purpose like that! Uh, I guess we just leave this for now. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Nuda. This isn't much, but please take it. Wow, 50 whole Mira. See you then. I'll let you know if I need something again. Sure, from here on, you're our shop customer. We're, we're just doing bracer work. That's all this is. important that you talk to the seagull. Why? I don't know. Just, just felt like it. This can't be someone's museum. There's never been a museum here. It's crazy. It's crazy. Hey boy, so you're making your greeting rounds. How was your long-awaited homecoming? Even though it's only been four months, it's pretty nostalgic. I thank you, Captain, for the cruise. 
You letting me get on board was a big help. That's fine. You should at least enjoy your summer vacation. Though I'm leaving port soon, I'll show my face again. Understood. Please be careful on your way. You're a good guy. What happened all of a sudden, Crux? You see, you're on summer vacation starting now, aren't you? You intend to enjoy your beautiful sister, childhood friend, and your youth, right? On the other hand, I got a filthy journey at sea with the captain. It's a little unfair, isn't it? Crux, if you want to leave the ship that badly, I don't particularly mind. No, Captain. It was a joke. A joke. <laughs> Do your best, Crux. Dude just wants... Gotta be tough being Ayuda. It seems like everybody wants his sister. Yo, Ayuda, you look well. You too, Lupus. This is what I want to say, but why are you smiling happily like that? Oh, you want to know? No matter what you say, it's because a troublemaker like you's returned to the village. It's because I'm excited for something interesting to happen in this peaceful, boring village of ours. Troublemaker? <laughs> Maybe you mean Signa. Nah, no, though you're pretty unaware of it. You've got that same nature, don't you think? So, that's why I'm excited for summer vacation. Ah, he just wants uh, chaos to go down, I see. Elder Serpent. This guy doesn't look like a snake. When I give passionate lectures, my chronic back pain acts up. <laughs> Same, dude. Same. Holy crap. God, hey, wait, 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 I saw that. It's Mishy. What the hell are you doing here, buddy? <laughs> what in the world is this? I haven't seen a life form like this before. I wonder where it came from. Oh my god, it really is just like freaking uh, Master Ericus or whatever Japanese master you want. Endless ocean and infinite waves. However, there's nothing whose appearance is unchanging. All things always flow. It's been a while, Nayuta. It's been a long time, Master Orvis. <laughs> Seems you've become a little stronger while away. You have good eyes as always. Seems you've seen the outside world and grown. However, where is Signa? I asked for both of you to come. Uh, it seems a little busy right now. <sighs> what a rascal. Good grief, he hasn't changed at all. Uh, looks like he's been exposed. You were talking about today's training for us. Yes, if possible, I want to see if you two could do it together, though. Well, nothing can be done about that. This time, just you will be fine. I want to begin immediately. Are you ready? Yes, I'm in your care. <laughs> A good reply. But before that, take this. I used this during my entire time on the island. <laughs> I've taken care of it ever since you left. Different from Cygna's Vigilante Corps, you've had hardly any reason to use a sword at the Academy. Coming back to the matter at hand, today I want to once again train you in the sword. Yes, thank you very much. Now, before we get into it, I'll have you equip that sword. Once you've made your preparations, speak with me again. 
equip weapons and armor by selecting Equip from the camp menu. Please equip Nayuda. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, you can't save. But hey. We have a sword. Now that we're on a battle map, we can actually press uh, the confirm button to swing our sword. Alright. Let's begin the training. Here I prepared some training dummies. Use that sword freely and show me you can destroy them. Yes. Apparently, if you get your chain up, you get more power. <sighs> Somehow, I destroyed them. As expected, you have good muscles. Though you're away from the sword for a while, it seems it came back quickly. Though Cigna's a natural of the sword, you never fell behind him. <laughs> That's excessive flattery, Master. Cigna's sword is a real one. Someone like me could never stand up to it. He's helped me out of dangerous situations many times. Hmm. Maybe a training method without so much restraint would be good. No, never mind. No matter how you look at it, you are more suited to the way of the scholar than the sword. In order to search for lost heaven. Yes. My father headed for the other side of the end of the world, believing it existed. The truth is, this world has nothing like an end. Surely there must be something beyond. So, saying my father sought it, seeking to confirm it with his own eyes. I'm still a boy. I don't know how many years have passed since then. Possible. I'd like to be a researcher like that in the future. <laughs> it's you, Nayuta. Then someday you will reach that world. Now then, the warm-up is finished. Since you're here, how about trying a contest with me next? Th with you? I only ever saw Signa defeat you once. I'll go easy on you. Measure your strength to the bitter end. M monsters? They have been appearing on the island more often lately, to appear at a time like this. They don't look to be very fearsome. Nayuta, how about I try letting you handle things? Uh, you mean me? I think this is the perfect chance for me to see your strength. Don't worry. I'll protect the road to the village. Want to give it a try? Uh, understood. Somehow, I'll do it. <laughs> well then, leave this to me. Alright, here I go! Jump with the X button. Please use it for enemies or climbing. Use the triangle button to evade attacks. Battle music was pretty dope, though. <sighs> I beat them somehow. Hmm, good work. Master, is the village alright? Yes, though I was vigilant, no monsters came by. Nayuta, you didn't lose even one. Well done in defeating them. <laughs> I was just lucky. Because you were there behind me, Master, I had a feeling of security. Well, that's fine. There's no training better than real combat. This was better than I expected. We'll duel another time. Once you two are together, we'll begin our training once more. Oh, that's right. When the time comes, I'll bring Signa even if I have to, even if I have to drag him over. Hmm. If you do that, you'll be a big help. The soul becomes stronger through training. The sword is helpful in this purpose. For the pursuit of your dream, too, it is by no means useless. While you are here, do not neglect your training. Yes! With this, the requested work is completed. Cygnus should be about done with his work by now, too. I should return home for now. So you can still talk with Orvis here. Uh. Ooh. 
Okay, so he gives us tutorials. Guess what? I don't give a shit about tutorials. I'm just gonna wail on this until I can break it. Because I am lowering its HP, so... Let's see how high this chain goes. Okay, I think it ends at 60. Like, for relevant bonuses, anyway. Yeah, Signet and Master's house hasn't changed at all. Since I came to see Master before leaving the island. Cygnus still hasn't unpacked his luggage since he returned. He's always like that. I mean, that's that's fishing, right? Cygna, you put something like your bag on your bed? Master will probably be mad again. Probably more like, Master will be mad at you. Yeah, this is very literally translated. You can tell that every tanbu and hanbun and all that nonsense is all left in there. Uh, conversational Japanese is very wishy-washy, so you gotta be... Uh, you gotta be diligent when you translate from Japanese to English. save. Saving would be nice, thank you. I don't have ingredients, so can't make anything new. Um. I can buy a doghouse from her, but I don't have enough uh, mirror for that just yet. Get some armor. The best offense is a good defense, and holy crap, you actually get to wear the stuff. Well, the the headband at least is uh, is on us now. That's cool. I think I think more games could benefit from having cosmetic changes like that. It's been a while. You look well. Uh, no, that's a little blunt. Hello, Naida. It's been a while. Uh, that's not like me at all. Uh, I gotta do my best. It's our four-month reunion. It's no time to be nervous. Oh, if it isn't Lyra. <laughs> Have you been well? What are you doing in a place like this? Well, you know, I, I heard you returned and... Wow, this is really bad. It's been so long and the words just won't come. I gotta calm down. For now, I gotta think of a line I rehearsed earlier. This is suffering. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. Why did it have to come out like that? 
Lyra, are you doing okay? Uh, that's right. Truth is, there's a cave near the academy where I gather materials. Since you're here, how about looking at them? It'll cheer you up for sure. No, I'm good. Thanks for the thoughts, though. When it comes to this, he hasn't changed at all since we were kids. Oh, Naida, looks like you returned. Oh, you have too. Yeah, just a while ago. Just a while ago? Signa, could it be that you came to see that earlier? I didn't do anything like that. No, oh, you're meeting your childhood friend. She made many trips to your house, preparing her heart. And spun her wheels thinking of the first line she would say to you. You don't see that kind of scene too often. I don't really get to say, man, kids, at all. You saw me, didn't you? What are these two talking about? Incidentally, how'd the requests go? Yep, I finished them all. Master was angry that you didn't come, though. Is that right? Well, that's fine. Uh, we've received new requests again. Let's start them immediately. If you're so inclined, try taking Lyra's love consultation one. <laughs> you don't need to say things like that. <laughs> as much as they fight, it's proof of their close relationship, right? What was that just now? Huh, I think it came from the sky. I think I heard it. Uh, just wait a minute. Uh, Nayuda? It might be that phenomenon. For now, the direction is... Oh shit, it's a big one. Ripperoni. Are you guys all right? Y yeah, somehow. What was that just now? wasn't a shooting star or something. C could it be... The runes drop phenomenon? Huh. Looks that way, doesn't it? A mysterious phenomenon that occurs in this area two or three times a year. Five years since I came to the island. I still haven't gotten used to it. Even so, this one's super huge. It's usually just some rubble that comes down in a meteor shower. Yeah, I've never seen this one one this big come down before. There was a huge impact. Townspeople are probably worried. It fell near the cape. Now, Yuda, let's go see what it looks like. Yeah. W w wait, wait for me. Hey, hey, are you all right? That's such a large ruin fell. At least let us see what it looks like. It, everyone, just calm down a bit, please. Dorado, how's the rune that fell? Oh, it's you guys. Well, for now, everything's alright. Just wait a second here. Why are you standing guard in a place like this? Is it really the work of a guard to be the vanguard in this situation? We're making sure there's shoals to stand on. I was told by Orvis to stand guard to keep everyone out. Orvis? Yeah, he said he would check things out in return. Even if monsters come out of the runes, Orvis will take care of them. <laughs> He's a very reliable person. Don't yahaha at me, you untrained guard. Ouch, that really hurts, Miss Lyra. Anyway, will you let us take a look? It's probably something we can do as the handyman shop. Yeah, well, it's alright if you guys pass. But, exercise caution, you got that? Yes, of course we will. 
Lyra, could you stay here for me? Alright, understood. If you guys get injured, return at once, okay? <laughs> Leave this to us. Alright then, let's go, Nayuda. I'm really digging the music in this game. I mean, it's Falcom, so obviously they, they have good music. Master! Hmm? Hmm? It's you guys, huh? Because it's dangerous, I had Dorado stop you. He told him not to come. We came to see if there's anything we can do to help. The room fell close to the island than I thought. Looks like some kind of tower. I think I'll call it the Ruin Tower. Silver lining is that at this distance, we won't be hit by large waves. Yeah, the open sea is a bit further out. Its height's approximately 312 arch. What a massive tower. It's clearly different from the things that usually fall. While the structure's shape is intact, I sense the presence of monsters inside. But though the sea remains calm, it seems we have to take a closer look. Alright, let's go, Naida. Yeah. Get down. Were you not listening? We have to take a closer look, right? We'll investigate the interior. Everything will be alright. We have experience fighting monsters, too. Could it be that you guys... I misread your objective. If you walk in there with simple academic interest or curiosity, it'll be fatal. Uh... Uh... How troublesome. I'll give you my permission. We must investigate the interior for the security of the village. I do not detect that strong of a monster presence inside. If you guys are careful, you should be fine. Well then, as I said before, simple curiosity will be fatal. You must put the safety of the village first until the very end. Understood? Understood. Y yes. <laughs> and I'll explain the situation to everyone. You two, if you sense danger, pull out immediately. Signa, you should come see me later when you're finished. I'll give you that training you missed earlier. <sighs> you remembered, huh? You don't miss anything, huh, old man? He also saw that we didn't have the resignation needed to face danger. As expected, we're no match for him. <laughs> That's true. Then our next course is to search for a road to those ruins, eh? Looks like we can reach the ruins by walking atop the coral reef. Nayuda, are you ready? Yeah, I'm alright. I can go anytime. You heard it from Master. This is an important investigation for the sake of the village, so brace yourself. Okay. Ah, damn, these beats are bopping, though. Huh, the inside's quite vast. This might be harder than I thought. Amazing. Amazing, Signa! To think a day when I can explore such a huge ruin would ever come! There might be star shards, or clues to unravel the mystery of the falling runes phenomenon. Hey, Neuda, you just said you'd brace yourself, right? Oh, I guess I got carried away. <laughs> well, that's fine. I've calmed down a little thanks to you. Judging by appearances, various spots are crumbling due to the impact. For now, let's proceed carefully, partner. Yeah. Signa's accompanying me, huh? Shining crystals found in each stage can be used as money. 
Makes sense. Huh. Looks like there's monsters here. We gotta defeat them before they enter the island. Alright. Let's beat them quickly. When you continue to attack without taking damage, your chain will accumulate in the lower right of the screen. When your chain is higher than fixed amounts, various bonuses, such as increased attack power, will be added. While your chain continues, the bonus will continue to be added. Alright, so yeah, there was 20, 40, 60. And I assume there's more as you proceed through the game. Looks like rubble's blocked the path, though we can proceed by jumping over it. This kind of rubble, you can probably clear it with your sword. If you destroy it, some interesting things might come out, you know? <laughs> well then, let's try it out. Hey, I got a longhorn beetle. What's this? It's completely collapsed. Oh, what a waste. If it was like this originally, we might understand something. Well, let's just go ahead for now. Looks like all we can do to proceed is jump. During exploration, if you press X during a jump, you'll perform a double jump. By using the double jump, you can reach places that cannot be reached normally. And by X, they mean cancel. What in the world is that? That thing back there interests me. A mysterious energy is preventing you from proceeding. Oh, the light went out. So, that device back there was to deactivate the barrier, huh? <laughs> this is more fun than I thought. Yeah, nothing excites me more than rare things. Cigna, don't go all by yourself, okay? Alright, alright, I got it. Anyhow, looks like we still have a bit more to go. Take 50 Mira. Oh, I got hit. Damn it. When you defeat monsters, they sometimes drop ingredients. Seems we've reached a high place. Even so, I wonder why these ruins are so big. Looks like there are gear-like things moving around here and there. I've gotta search this place from corner to corner. Hey, it's dangerous! Whoa! You alright? I'll pull you up. Huh. Oh, thanks, Signa. You saved me. <sighs> Looks like you just avoided danger somehow. If you looked at your footing a little, you'd understand that's unstable, right? <laughs> Sorry. 
Seems I haven't been paying attention since we got here. Even so, you've had a sharp intuition ever since we got here. You're pretty reliable, you know? Sharpen your mind no matter the situation. It's because the Master's teachings have soaked in. But enough of that. Let's go ahead. Don't lose your focus until the end, okay? Yeah, understood. It's this distance. It seems we can cross it somehow. Can we? Okay, cool. It looked like it was going to be a difficult jump, but I guess we pulled it off. Ah, it seems we're outside now. Oh, look at that, Cigna. Holy crap, it's a Sea Horizon panorama! Yes, it's certainly a thing to behold. Before we knew it, it seems we've climbed up pretty high. There's no monsters around, so let's end our investigation here. How about it, Nayuda? Everyone in the village seems fine. It looks like there's still more above us. Since we're here, let's go where we can go. There might be places we haven't checked, or something like a book! I was thinking the same thing. Then, try watching your footing and let's go. Let's go up a little higher. God, it's swirling so much. Ah. This looks important. Signa, what's that? <laughs> what indeed? Oh, it's a noise. A, a small girl? No. Though she looks small, it doesn't look like a child. She kind of looks like a fairy that appears in fairy tales. A, a fairy? Do such things really exist? I don't know, but... This girl is in front of us right now. Where the heck did she come from? Here, couldn't protect. Did she just talk? Sounds like she's having a nightmare. I couldn't hear it well, but uh, I was interested in it before. But that shining thing. If I look at it closely, it seems to be some kind of machine. Yeah, she's holding it tightly. It must be very important to her. Anyway, why is she in a place like this? We should probably take her back to the village and look after her. <laughs> I will not allow you to do anything unnecessary. Oh shit. Trigger the bad guys. What? What's happening? They appeared out of thin air? <laughs> it seems some kids are present. Noi, you've been a thorn in my side. Of all things, to think that you would bring the final Master Gear to this side. What? 
even though you lost consciousness, you won't let it go. Your tenacity is to be praised for sticking so closely to your mission. But to me, it is indispensable, and I will have it. <sighs> huh? With this, all preparations are in order. This time for sure, we will fulfill our dearest wish. Quickly. We must continue with the plan to obtain the key. Wait right there. Uh, are you okay? Uh. What do you want, boy? I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to play with you. You can't just do whatever you want. Take that thing she was holding by force while she was unconscious? I'll never let something like that pass before my eyes. I see. You wish to put on chivalrous airs, huh? I acknowledge your strong spirits. But measuring your worth as an opponent, going against me will be painful for you. Deal with him for me. By your command. <laughs> Come at me. With this body, I'll teach you how powerless you truly are. Don't act so high and mighty in front of me. Ha! Huh. What? What is this feeling? Signa! <laughs> I'm alright. You protect the girl. What's wrong? That isn't like you, to have so much trouble with an opponent. It's... nothing. Oh, I see. It seems your coming to this world was not necessarily a coincidence. Everything is guided by the stars. What are you talking about now? <laughs> well, that's fine. It seems that time has already come. Now there's something we must do on the other side. Let us go. John. Later. I let him get away. I don't get it at all. Hey, Signa, who in the world were those people? It seems they had some kind of mysterious power, but in the end, they just talked. I don't know anything. This side and that side. On top of all that, some kind of gear? There's too many things we don't know about. That's true, but I'm interested in all those things. I believe they called her Noi, didn't they? For now, we should look after this girl. Right, let's go to your house for now. After that, Nayuda and Signa wrap Noi in a cloth and... Taking care not to show her form to the islanders, they headed for Nayuda's house. Well, it seems like her life isn't in danger. We brought her here, keeping it a secret from the townsfolk. We gotta be careful until we've confirmed this girl's situation. Speaking of what happened at the ruins, I don't know whether I can believe it. Right, it's good that my sister's away too. No doubt about it. I'm worried and I want to ask her about it. There's a limit to how long we can keep her hidden here. Whatever are we gonna do from here on out? This place is... Huh, so you've awakened. What? 
<laughs> what? H humans? D don't come any closer and don't touch me. Bringing me to a place like this. Just what are you planning? For me. I taste terrible, so don't eat me. Um. Well, seems like somehow or the other she's afraid of the things called humans. Noi, was it? There's no way we'd eat you. We're not that kind of people. Why do you know my name? I'm Nayuda, and this is Signa. We found you collapsed in the ruins and brought you here. If it's alright with you, we want to ask you about the details of what occurred there. Are you a fairy that appears in fairy tales? Uh, aside from that, there's a lot more things I want to ask you. Collapsed? In the ruins? Right. I ran from those people in order to protect it. Then, they're running wild with the power they stole and came here? Hmm? I don't get it. To put it simply, that we found you in that ruined tower was a coincidence. If I assume this girl has some connection with the falling runes phenomenon, then... No, it's too bad. I wonder if she knows something. Uh, ah! Uh, the Master Gear's missing! I lost it! C could it be that you guys... Uh, she's flying! C c give it back! It's a very important thing! If I don't have it, then I... Wait, wait, we would never. What's more, what's a Master Gear? Hey, Nayuda, maybe she's talking about that machine stolen by the man clad in black. <sighs> I think he called it something like that, didn't he? The man in black? We don't really know anything about it, though. They explained to Noi about the man in black and the masked young man that appeared in the ruins and stole the thing that Noi had. Th this can't be. What was his name? Zex! It's unthinkable that he would chase me all the way to this side. Zext? That's, uh, the name of the man clad in black, right? What kind of relation do you have with him? It looked like you were being chased. Uh, the explanation's a bit complicated, you see. Zex suddenly appeared in our world one day. Accompanied by a mysterious masked youth, he threw our world into chaos. Wait just a second. Our world? And he threw it into chaos? Hey, now. Explain a little more simply for us, will you? Uh, I'm sorry. Now that the Master Gear's been stolen, it's a race against time. I thank you for saving me, though. But forget everything that happened today. I gotta get going. But bye Wait, there's more I want to ask you. If it's around here, then possibly there might be a transfer gate nearby. Um, uh... Oh, there it is! What do I do in this situation? It's pretty deteriorated, but all I can do is give it a try. By the power of the warden, I order an attachment to the garden. Ha! Huh? The garden? Are we going to the hermit's garden? Is this how it's connected to the uh, greater Kaseki series? I don't know, we'll find out. Thank goodness it connected. I gotta hurry. For Master Kurea, too. Did you see that, Signa? Yeah, she disappeared. From that place, she said it connects to the world that she's from. Lots of things have happened, but nothing bad yet. Signa, want to try chasing after Noi? You, do you really have to ask? We have no idea what kind of dangers we'll be facing. 
If it's connected to an unthinkable hell-like place, what will you do? <laughs> of course, I've prepared myself for that. That girl said she's from a different world than ours. Could it possibly be the thing we've been searching for? If it is, I want to see what it looks like with my own eyes. I can't leave that girl alone either. Good grief. Well, if my bro says that much, I can't exactly turn my back on you now, can I? The Cigna, does that mean... Ever since those mysterious guys showed up, I haven't been able to keep quiet about the handyman shop. Let's chase after that ferry before that gate closes. That's right, we have no long idea how long it'll stay connected. Then, I'll make my preparations as fast as I can. Once your preparations are complete, let's meet in front of that gate. <laughs> uh, the big bro and me suffering a bit. Nonetheless. This feeling of when I face that masked kid. Why am I worried about this? If we ever meet again, I'll need to seriously focus on it. Is Signa not from this world either? I think that's what they're implying. Anyway, um... Now's a good time to save, I think. Let's at least see what's on the other side of the gate before calling it an episode, I think. I've only been- I haven't even gone for two hours yet. I want to at least get to two hours, I think. That should be good. Huh, the gears are moving. Yeah, it's strange. I don't understand the principle, but there's some kind of power moving them. Is your heart ready, Nayuda? Once we answer, there's no guarantee we can return. It suits you. You can cry out to Earth and Lyra. Yeah, I know that, but we gotta hurry now. If we're not able to return, we'll have to search for another way. If I'm with you, no matter what happens, I feel like I can do anything. <laughs> Hey man, I trust you too. Let's hurry inside the portal. Uh, we'll jump in on the count of three. Uh, understood. I'm ready anytime. Then, one, two, three. Blindingly bright, but my eyes are slowly getting used to it. This place is... Yeah, I, I'm definitely not able to read that. Amazing! To think that such a beautiful place exists in this world. Got no words to describe this sort of thing. <laughs> well, we might not even be in this world at all. Uh, d don't say such things. Anyway, we need to search for that girl, Noi. Hey, what's wrong? Looks like you got hit with a pea shooter. Signa, look at that! What? Hey, that was the tower in the Star Shard. Hey, could that possibly be... Yeah, no doubt about it. It's the huge tower that was projected from the Star Shard. Huzzah. <laughs> Could this place be... No. Th this world is... Lost Heaven! So it really, truly exists? 
That's great, Nayuda. To think that we'd find the place your father was searching for this quickly? Are you moved too? <laughs> Sorry, this isn't the place for this. Alright, anyway, let's get investigating. If you find Noi, tell me at once. Yeah, got it. That's Division of Labor for you. Damn, this place has nice music. It's no joke that this place is beautiful. Cigna, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. Right now, there's nothing except that which I don't understand. Let's look around. Looks like some kind of ruins, but what kind of thing is this exactly? Even so, it's an amazing height. I can't see the top at all. It'd be difficult to measure just how tall it is. I wonder what kind of structure what such a structure would be used for. <laughs> I truly arrived at Lost Heaven. It was so sudden, I haven't really felt it yet. While I'm in this world, I'll have to investigate it as best I can. I will unravel the mysteries of the end of the world, and the star shards. But, I won't really, will I? For now, I gotta search for that girl, Noi. Uh huh? Hey, Nayuda, is that fairy around? What's wrong? You find something again? What is that? Hey! In this world, there is an end. We were taught that since long ago. Even the sea which stretches to infinity has a distinct end, beyond which one cannot go. Even so, I reached it. The lost paradise of lost heaven. Now. This is... a... a girl? In this beautiful world, we met a girl. This was the start of our long summer vacation. I felt like I could hear the gears of fate begin to turn. Alright, cue the opening.
Alright. And that's it for the prologue. Which I think means that's it for the stream today. I could keep going, I guess, but like, yeah, it's getting it's getting pretty early. Or getting pretty late, depending. And I got shit I need to do today, so, you know. Better better get prepped for that. So yeah, uh thanks you thank you everyone for uh coming to my first stream of Now You Didn't Know Kisegi. And I hope you'll join me for the future episodes to come. I will be porting these to YouTube, so you can check these out there as well. And I will be highlighting and hopefully saving these as well on Twitch, so you can check both the, both those out later at any time. In any case, my name is Logic Blade. If you want to help support me, feel free to like, follow, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It helps out the channel, helps out the algorithm, gets more people into Trails, which is good because Trails is a really good series, and everyone deserves to experience it. Um, and if you want to support me even more than that, which I mean props to you if you do, uh, feel free to check out my Patreon account or check out my AO3 page because I write fanfiction as well. Uh, in any case, that's uh, that'll be it for today. So uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you next time for, for more of this. So uh, until then, uh, stay safe, have fun, and don't eat yellow snow. Bye-bye.